Hey, hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the factorial of a number by using regression in C++. So let's get started with the code. So currently I have here an empty project over here. It has only a main function. So first we are going to create a function, okay? So int. So it's not going to be void because we're going to return a uh, factorial of a number. So it's going to be of integer type. So it's going to be int uh, fact, okay? And we are also get, going to get the number from the user. So let n o be the number. Okay, so before going to the function, I think uh, let's just get the basic input stuff. Okay, so it's going to be int n and uh, let's, put a, let's put a c out, enter a number. Okay, put an angle c in of n and uh, let's put another fact also. F be the factorial, okay. So f equal to so here we will build the function call. So it's going to be fact of and we'll pass the number itself. So it's going to be fact of n and finally see out the factorial or factorial is okay. This and just print f. So this is good for our int main, okay. So now inside our fact uh, function so okay, so we're getting a number so it's just for five if statement is going to finish all our work so first the base condition or the condition uh, for which our function terminates so function terminates when it returns something the function just basically terminates so here a written final statement is going to be if our number equal to one we're just going to return one Okay, so I'm assuming that here our number is greater than zero because okay, so our number should be greater than zero. That's uh, it's pointless for to find a factorial of number. Okay, and else, okay, else we will be just returning the factorial of number. So our factorial of number will return number asterisk fact of number minus one. Okay, so just that's the code. Okay, it's that simple. This code is. And here is that regression call, okay? Fact number minus one. So now I will also explain you how this code works uh, at the end, okay? I will just proceed, uh, give you a step by step definition how this code works, okay? So now let me just run it. So I think uh, five, five, let me put five factorial, five into four into three into two, 26, it's 120. So if you put five, I need to get uh, 120 as an answer. Five. Okay, so I'm getting 120, so it's working right. So, and uh, uh, if I put 6 now, I will check for 6 also. I need to get 620, 720. Okay, so it's working really good. So, if I put 1, I need to get 1. Okay, so it's working really good. So, now I will let me explain you this code. So, it's just a matter of only if statement. That's it, only if statement and recursion call. Okay, so here is our uh, my word uh, paint. Okay, so now just explain this code. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is it's just a uh, same thing. Uh, what to say? Let me put. Let me this will be the function. Okay, fact be the uh, function. So okay, so this will be the if condition. So if condition is if our number is equal to one. I am returning one and in our else return number asterisk fact of this is fact same name should be same name after fact of number minus one okay so here we are just getting the number int uh, number int n is going to be number okay so let's go so now uh, if I'm passing a phi as the argument to our function, so let's consider let n equal to phi. Okay. So what will be happening here is you will just check for the condition if n equal to 1. So condition is obviously false and it goes to the else part. So else part we have return n asterisk fact of n minus 1. It's going to be phi asterisk fact of it represent fact as f. So phi asterisk fact of f. Okay. So this is actually basically a function call. Okay, it's uh, it's similar to this one. This uh, 
this function we call here same thing this thing and this thing are both the same the only thing is that it's present in a return thing and here we have an integer value integer variable to accept that value that's the only difference between that okay so once we will get a phi as the for so what this this does is that it again calls the function so this time instead of phi 4 is passed as an argument so it just goes again inside this so if n is equal to 1 so n is not equal to 1 here so n is 4 it just gets uh, replaced by this code over here just replace 4 uh, in place of n so you will be getting 4 asterisk fact of 4 minus 1 which is 3 okay i will put f okay in, in 3 so this particular statement will be replaced by this so again repeat the same step we will be passing 3 again so n is 3 3 not equal to 1 so it goes again here so 3 asterisk uh, f of 2 and again pass 2 so 2 will go here not equal to so 2 asterisk okay 2 asterisk and we'll getting finally we will get f of 1 okay so f of 1 will go here and it will just return 1 so finally our uh, function is just terminates so it terminates because we have finally reached the return statement okay so now we have this big chain so if you just multiply all these numbers you will be getting the factorial number so number as 120 that's simple so 1 into 2 is 2 2 into 3 is 6 6 into 4 is 24 24 into 5 will give you the answer 120 so we just it's just simple tracing of a recursive call basic concept of recursion so that's it we have just found the factory of a number so that's it for this video i hope you understood this easily so my is a program channel do check out my other videos of my channel i've done many tutorials in cc plus plus java blender and unity so subscribe and support me and thanks for watching